Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Panch Dragoon Saga. Alright, I'm going sandmine hunting. As we fought one right at the end of last video, it's one of eight rare enemies in the game, and it gives by far the most experience we've seen so far. At even... Even at a grade, it got over 400, and excellence 540. To uh, compare that to everything else we faced, the max you can get with an excellent is 101 against a plunger up to this point. So, it would be nice to actually uh, hunt a couple of these things down. These things are only available in the four corners of the ruins. And I'm at the top right right now. So I am going to fly a little bit over here. Mainly just to uh, move position because I don't know how quickly they will spawn. But uh, they, given they are rare enemies, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they are a pain in the neck to actually get. And there we go here. And there they are, more sand mites. In which case, uh, I'll just stay back here for just a second and start lasering at them. Basically, perform the same as a Gigra. Just wait till they uh, put you up front. Laser away at everybody. And there goes quite a few of them. Piece of cake! And there's my excellent for 540 points and 300 dines. Pushing me up to level 12. Cool stuff. Alright, so yeah, uh, it's probably actually not a bad idea to come running around here for the sole purpose of hunting sand mites as uh, you're definitely guaranteed a level for a little while and uh, I kind of do want to get up there in level a little bit before I head off to the uh, next real area of the game I'm just gonna flow on around here see if I can at least uh, hunt a few more sand mites if I can Oof, different. Um, eh, don't worry about that. Um, in which case, I will uh, move on. I guess I'll head to the uh, southeastern corner. Yeah, there we go. Let's, uh... I guess it's only one at a time, I think. Wouldn't really surprise me if that's the case. I right, just I'll charge my gauges, wait for them to put me up front. And zap away. Yeah, it's a full scattering, but uh, at least it does a good chunk of damage. And I'll just back up over here. That gets rid of the most of them. Actually, why did I do that? But I can do that. Grants me an excellent. Gets me up to 13 with Laser Storm, Cleansing Wave, Vengeance Orbs, and Escape Berserks. Which, uh, escape's literally the only way you can run from battles, so you could not actually run from battles up to this point. Isn't that ridiculous? Not that it matters, because I, I very rarely use the escape option in battles anyway, mainly because I know what I'm doing, and the only time I actually do need to put escapes in is if it's actually scripted to require, it's required to do so because it's an unwinnable fight, or it, uh, it's just a really, really bad encounter with bad luck. Very rarely will I have to actually run. Just kind of going a full circle here, going in circles mainly because this is the one yellow area. If I can just get one, I'm good. Kind of hoping I don't have to run back and uh, do it again. No, 
not really showing up. That's a problem. Um, okay, uh, what I can do is I'll just head back to the world map for just a moment. And I think I can just re-trigger it if I head back to the Gorilla Desert. I think I can re-trigger encounters this way, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is random encounter, but it's just a weird way of doing it. Then again, these are rare enemies, so who knows. In any case, I'm just going to fly straight back to the uh, Blue Ruins normally, and that should get me what I need to get. Because sand mites do give a lot of experience, and fighting a few of them would be pretty awesome. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot else to do. I have to go into the caravan, which will end up taking us into the next area, uh, once we're done with the vents there. And that eventually leads to uh, the end of the first disc. And once we cover that, uh, <clears throat> things should get a lot more interesting once we head there. But for right now, it's just a rather uh, cruise ride along, mainly because sand mites are awesome. And I want to actually blast through a bunch of them while I still have a chance. So I'll just navigate through the sands here. Oof. Alright, let's head back into this lore area and see if I can at least score an encounter. Oh, there we go! Sand mites! Shoot them up front! That's not what I want, because that, ha that means no gauges to start things off. So let it charge. Blast away at them. Try to wait a little bit to get this next one. There we go. Should be able to get two gauges. I can wait just long enough to trigger this one. Get nuked. It's always that sixth one that just hides. There's level 14. With all that stuff. Cool beans. Let's see if I can uh, roll on up the uh, desert line. Yeah, those, the yellow areas are where you want to be for the uh, sand mites. And there's another group coming in. I think I'm on the side of them. I am on the side. I am going to just run back and wait till they pull me up. I'm just going to wait a little bit and do this instead. Not that it matters, they're not gonna do anything anyway, they did it just in time. Suck it. I was kinda threading the needle there, admittedly. But, uh, hey, I know what I'm doing. I was level 15. Just. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is. These guys are easy. And of course, having a freaking uh, 540 experience boost when next closest is 100 helps. Yeah, really the best way to handle this is just to kind of just screw around. And then... You basically just screw around with sand mites until you stop gaining a level with every fight. And I'm up front again. I got one, zap away at them, 
And of course, you're getting marginally stronger. You're getting quite a bit of health. Is. Well. Christ, what? I started this at 6.30 and now I've gained 150 HP. Easy stuff. Another mackerel shell. There's level 16. Okay, so we are approaching 11 minutes. No real honest issue here. Just me doing my business. I've gained quite a few levels doing this, which is nice. Yeah, these are the these are the areas you want to be if you want to deal with some sand mites. If you're trying to get all the enemies. You have to come here after you take out the Gigra. And in this case, I don't know why this one isn't spawning them, but it is a yellow area, and I'm not sure if it's just three of them you can hit. Well, I'm not going to screw around trying to find out. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, display map, go to world map, and I'm just going to repeat the process. We got plenty of time, no problem. Maybe six more rounds of them. Be pretty cool. Work out nicely. Still can't take out that tank. Well, it's actually a ship, but it looked like a tank. Ships are basically tanks that float on water. In all honesty. <laughs> that does sound kind of weird, but whatever. Um, regardless of that, uh, yeah, I cannot shoot that ship out of the desert yet. Uh, it's, that's actually in the very end of the game that I can do that. Uh, same thing with some of these other things. Uh, because the laser rank you need to actually nuke that thing is six. And I'm currently at one. So we got a long way to go if we want to get that done. Alright, heading back into the ruins. Actually, I don't even know why I keep doing this. I don't... Because I, I feel like if I just head into the passage and then come back, they'll respawn then. I should probably give that a go with this uh, next round. In any case, I'm just going to float on. And back into the sands again. Well, should I get some sand mites here? Well, maybe. There we go. Yeah, they're like the only thing that shows up. Just endless zapping of these things. And of course, they always come in sixes. So you are getting a good chunk of experience no matter what. Yeah, unlike some uh, random encounter cases, it's always the same fixed groups. Um, some games do this, other games have a completely randomized set. Uh, so, you may get the same grouping, but not always the same enemies, like the uh, first Final Fantasy, where it's uh, you can get three, four, five of the same enemy, but it's never constant. Of course, I got a great fight out of that, which didn't work out too well, but I still got level 17. So, that's nice. Alright, keep on... Uh, let's actually head this way and see if I can get one to trigger. From the uh, southwest corner. If I can even get there. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. If I can get just one to show up, that'd be cool. I 
Yeah, I don't understand this one. It is supposed to be the four corners, yet this one doesn't really show them at all. It's weird. But at least I can go up to the top corners and I can still take one out. Each. There we go again. Alright, we're pushing 16 minutes, so I will, uh... I'll give it a little longer, just to make a slightly longer episode, because I have been doing shorter videos with this one than I have been normally. So I will, uh, zap away at everybody. Let that charge. There's another excellent. Bringing me to level 18. Yeah, if I can hit 20, that'd be pretty cool. And, uh, just fly on over to this section. This will grant me one final run against the uh, Sand Mites for this section. And then we will, uh... I'll head back through the Blue Ruins. Uh, well, the passage, and see if they reset. I'm not sure if they do or not. See, so, yeah, this is mostly a filler episode, unfortunately, but that's okay. Sometimes this happens. And in this case, it's kind of justified considering how much of an overpowered uh, fight this is, experience-wise. Uh, obviously, it's a, uh, easy as crap, but, can you really blame me for doing this, if it's this quickly? Oh, I actually didn't get a level up this time. Surprising. Okay, um, how close am I at to it? Okay, so, uh, I guess one more round of sand mites will do it for me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fly all the way back to the entrance and come back. Hopefully they will respawn, and I'll do those last three sand mites and I'll call it a video. So it is a longer episode than usual, um, but that's alright. Um, I'm just trying to hopefully get to this point anyway, but there is a lot of cutscene stuff and some other things that take a good chunk of time. and. Sometimes it, it, it just is what it is. Alright, so I'll just jump in here. And, uh, well, just kind of do that. Maybe just come back. Alright, hopefully they did. Hopefully it worked. I'll find out soon enough with this one encounter. Yep, they did restock. <laughs> if I knew that, I would have act. I wouldn't have just went to the world map multiple times. Oh well, at least I uh, got it done. At least we're now at the point where the Sandmites actually will not give an automatic level up every time you strike at them. That still doesn't stop me from attempting to get to level 20 mainly because I'm really close to it, and I predict that with these next, these last three Sandmine encounters, I will hit that level. Level 19. And, uh... Yeah, where am I at? Oh, I'll probably get it from this next one. Maybe. Yay, 20 minutes. No big deal. I'll just, uh... Yeah, these last two fights I'll do will be what I make for the video. And I'll just head to, uh... I'll uh, head to the world map and then camp for the video. 
that'll do it. As long as they show up quickly. Yeah, you can't really blame me for this one. And the zapping, and the zapping. <clears throat> it's just uh, kind of a clockwork thing. That's okay. Alright, one more to go. There's level 20 with the Prism Laser, Judgment Day, Heal Maxis, and Wraith Slashers Berserks. Very interesting. And now we will set sail for the final corner. <clears throat> and that will get us uh, a video. A much longer video than usual, but that's alright. It's all for a uh, awesome boss. <clears throat> alright. You're my last bunch. There we go. Well, I'm sure it's probably going to take me a while to level up next time. <laughs> I'll bet your butt that will be the case. How, uh... Well, maybe not too bad. I might get it next episode, who knows. Anyway, world map, let's head out. And that is it for the Sandmite hunting. I just, like, dedicated an entire episode just to hunting them. Am I nuts? Maybe. But, it works out. Pet. This is a dragon. And I am going to save the game here. And that will be a video. <laughs> Look at the difference in level. I was at level 9, now it's 20. To... Sheesh. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll cut this here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.